Hello everyone, Avri here and welcome back to another Sweet Build in The Sims 4. We are in 2019, so Happy New Year to everybody out there. I hope you had a great New Year's. I hope you spend it with your family and that you were safe doing all the fireworks and commotion that can get in when you are celebrating New Year's. I am back here with another Speed Build in The Sims 4. So this is again one of the builds that we did on the 12th hour livestream that I did. I wanted to do a Speed Build version of this because I loved this build. I loved making it and it was the last thing we did on the 12 hour livestream. And uh, I feel like not a lot of people saw that live stream. I mean, there was a lot of people on the live stream during the stream. Um, but yeah, the builds itself uh, and the live stream, not a lot of people saw that. So I wanted to get this build out there because I loved how this turned out. So as you can see, it is a live stream. You can still follow the, uh, <laughs> the chat on the left hand. Uh, side of the videos so you can kind of see what people are writing and and we had a lot of lovely people people donated and it was just an overall fantastic live stream and i really enjoyed it but what we're building today is the tangled tower so the rapunzel tower from the movie disney movie tangled which is one of my favorite disney movies ever i mean and it's not even for the reason that you think. I said this in the live stream as well, but I love that movie because of the song Mother Knows Best. I think it's the most amazing and fun song in the world. And uh, <laughs> I actually started singing a bit of it on the live stream. Uh, so yeah, go check out the live stream. It's on the channel still. It's called the uh, Christmas live stream, 12 hour stream, I believe. And it should still be on the channel. But what we're gonna do here, I had a picture of the um, of the tower from Rapunzel, uh, Tangled, and we're just basically gonna try to recreate it. So I was figuring out here how big we could actually make the tower without it looking ridiculous. Because as you guys know, there's only four levels in The Sims 4 that you can actually build up into the air before you're not able to build anymore. So we have the three stages of the tower base and a big foundation on it and then we have the level where Rapunzel's tower room house thing is so the thing about the tower itself I tried to really make it look like the one from Rapunzel I mean there's only so much you can do in The Sims 4 uh, of recreating things like this like movie sets and 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 places from movies and and animation films like this one but I tried really hard to make it look really good and make it look like the Tangled Tower so people could see and you guys also said in the stream that I mean people joining the stream you can see it in the uh, what is it called <laughs> the chat on the uh, left side that people who were just tuning into the stream and hadn't been watching for a while could see immediately that it was the Rapunzel Tower, which was really good. So, I mean, that just meant that I was doing something right. So, we're trying to recreate that. And going into the tower, once we're done with the outside here, it was really difficult trying to make it look like the tower from inside. So we took a lot of creative liberties. Uh, you guys helped me as well with how everything should look. But um, yeah, I chose the lot here in Windenburg where the bluffs is. So that's the name of the lot where we currently building this because I felt like it was just the most uh, excluded place in The Sims and it was like really it, it just, it felt alone, so it was kind of on its own. And the big space we have behind the tower, like this fallen down castle wall thing, um, fit really well. I mean, except for the graffiti, it fit really well with us trying to make it look excluded. So it's kind of overlooking the, uh, the water, which I also really liked, especially in the... 
uh, showcase video in the end as well, you're gonna see that. Um, but I tried to make it look really nice and just overall replicate what we had in the movie. So yeah, that's what I basically tried to do here. So I'm working on the entrance here and uh, this was really hard because we went through some stuff trying to replicate it. And this is again where the pure limitations of The Sims 4 just came to light and we could see that <laughs> yeah, we weren't able to make it 100% but we were able to make it look close enough. So this is the entrance where Rapunzel would throw out her hair to Flynn Rider and Mother Guthel so they could kind of enter the tower. Um, you might be asking, how the hell do I'm, am I going to get up to this tower? I have no idea. Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> I believe there was a mod at some point uh, that could have your sim teleport to somewhere. I also believe, don't quote me on this, but I do believe that there is a trait, not trait, what is it called? Whim uh, aspiration thing that you can do to to like teleport your sim places. Um, but yeah, honestly, there's no way to get up into this tower. I just created it because it was so fun and I thought it could be really cool to create it in The Sims 4. So we're still decorating the outside here. What I noticed when starting to build this tower was the lack of windows. Like when you watch the movie as well, there's not a lot of windows in the tower. Uh, we have like this window thing in the top of the tower, but I couldn't recreate that. I mean, we could have used the um, glass roofing pieces, but then we weren't going to be able to have the uh, tower sphere that is on the top of the tower, which is also present in the in the screenshots I was working with because I I watched the movie the day before doing the live stream so I took some screenshots just for references and also searched the uh, internet where I found that the Disneyland in California I believe and in Paris as well recreated uh, the Rapunzel Tower uh, the Tangled Tower. So I was working with some good references, but I also wanted to make it my own. So going here, the tower was on a slight hill and there was this little water lake bed thing that Rapunzel actually fell into when she uh, first time stepped out of the tower without Mother Gothel knowing. So I wanted to recreate that, but also throw in tons of flowers and just make it look really good and and fairy tale like so we also put in some hanging plants on the tower base itself and of course uh, tons of crawling plants going up the tower side uh, so yeah the tower side was actually also something that I saw in the screenshots from the uh, real life version that Disney made so there was like this part of the tower itself that was starting to crumble a bit so you could see the stone underneath which I thought was a really cool idea so I wanted to do that as well. This is where we're gonna get, get into some territory that was the most tedious work I have ever done in my life and you guys seem to enjoy it on the stream which was fine <laughs> but uh, I wanted to create my own staircase here. So the way that we did that, I took these displays or shelving units and scaled them up. And then I moved them up the side of the wall. So the problem with this was that the shelves wanted to snap to the wall all the time. And we needed them to just float in the air so we could create this fake looking staircase. Now in the movie there is this grand staircase thing that leads up to Rapunzel's room upstairs. But seeing that we couldn't make the room upstairs, this is just for looks. Um, and the staircase doesn't actually lead to anything so it's purely for looks only and, and to create the illusion that there is a staircase. Um, 
but it doesn't lead to anywhere and we couldn't actually create Rapunzel's room upstairs either because we were at the limit of the amount of rooms we could stack on top of each other. So this is where there's a lot of creative liberties with the with the builds itself and how it actually looks inside. Um, so yeah, I think it turned out really nice. I mean, the staircase as well is so nice looking. It's something I think I'm going to have to work on to make it look really good because I feel like we could create some truly amazing stuff with this uh, way of playing around with the staircases. And then I just filled out the uh, rest of the space of the staircases. I mean, it's a rocket looking place. It's a place that's presumably I feel like Mother Gothel has created herself, like built herself or found or something. And I wanted to keep that kind of look of it, of it being really rocket looking. Um, so yeah, what I needed to have in this build, I needed to have a place where Rapunzel could make food because she does that in the movie. We needed to have the frying pan the famous frying pan, which I love, um, that she hits Flynn Rider with, because I think that's the most funny thing in the world. <laughs> um, we also need to have a bed for Rapunzel, and I also put in a place where she could do her arts and crafts. Because in the movie as well, she paints a lot. She does a lot of artwork and stuff like that, which I also wanted to recreate. And we put in a place for a frog thing, chameleon thing, that your sim could uh, also, like, uh, what is it called, have in, in the space. Because Rapunzel has like this, uh, I'm can't, I can't remember what it's called, but she has like this chameleon thing. Um, as a friend, which I thought was really cool. So, yeah. But I was just trying to hide the staircase somewhat so you couldn't look underneath it because you weren't actually able to do that in the movie either. So, I wanted to hide that and later we actually decided to put in the kitchen area there instead. So, I was just looking for a flooring that worked really well. Rapunzel had like these really beige sand color walls in in her house um, and this is where we start to just do what I felt like was Rapunzel looking so we do a lot of really awesome looking colors um, that just fits with what I feel like Rapunzel would would have and this is also where you guys started to help me out in the build as well so I wanted to throw in uh, some wooden elements in here and have some plants going on because I feel like that is what Rapunzel would have. So we throw out these plants on top of the bed, which I thought looked really nice. Um, An easel was also something that you guys said in the chat that we needed so she could paint. And a bookcase, of course, because she has a bookcase where she has, like, the same books that she had read a thousand times. Which, honestly, let's face it, must be freaking boring. Um, but I was looking through the debug thing here for the frog terrarium thing. Um, so we could have that reptile that Rapunzel also has in the movie. And um, this took a little while, honestly, because the debug catalog is so big, but you're not able to to search specific items. Um, so it just took a short break real quick here. I don't know why I kept this in, honestly, but it, it's, it's nice. Um, <laughs> so yeah, tell me down below, did you guys have a good New Year's while we're waiting here? Um... Because I did. I thought my New Year's went really well. And I'm so hyped for 2019 here. To just grow this channel even bigger. And hopefully reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers. That is my goal this year. And I think definitely we can 
make it happen. So some of you guys also suggested what we could put in these graffiti things that came with the city living expansion pack, which was a freaking good idea. So I threw those in so she can kind of do the flooring part of the walls and on the other side of the wall we're also going to throw in tons of craft work and and stuff that just makes it look like she she is very artsy and does a lot of painting and stuff because she does in the movie as well um, and I tried to find stuff that would look really good on the wall so we we look through graffiti but in the end I think we decided on using the what is it called? Um, kids toddler stuff thing because they were really childish looking and fits overall better with with the overall theme of the movie. So I just pulled out some of them there. She has like this little desk area, the easel, tons of just crafting stuff and nice stuff for her to paint with. And, and just make it look nice. I tried to make it look super fun. And um, and I'm ju yeah, just make it look really good. And, and like it was a place that Rapunzel could live. So this is where we started throwing in the kitchen. Now this is the problem that I have with building on an angle. I hate it. I mean, nothing fits ever. The counters don't snap together. It's just awful, but we needed to have a little place. I didn't want to throw in a refrigerator, refrigerator, that is the word I was looking for. Um, but you guys said that we needed that, so we ended up throwing in a cooler instead. Uh, which was uh, Fry's suggestion, so that fit really well. I think we're gonna throw it in, in just a little bit. We also throw in a stovetop where we raise it up a bit. It should work, otherwise you can just raise it down a bit. But the reason that I raised it up was because it didn't actually fit in with the rest of the counters, just because of the way that everything is placed. So I also wanted to have the chair that Mother Gothel sits in while Rapunzel sings for her, so she can get her youth back. And uh, we chose this nice black chair and of course a little stool beside it for Rapunzel to sit on um, and uh, yeah just some last minute decoration items here's the cooler and of course we needed to have the wardrobe uh, cabinet thing that she shoves Flynn Rider into when he's uh, intruding into the uh, tower so I thought that was cool as well, and it was also a suggestion from you guys. Um, oh yeah, and then Brunetti here uh, suggested that we, if we decorated the staircase, staircase quote unquote, with some lighting, uh, just to make it look really cool. Because yeah, there is a part in the movie where there's tons of candles on the staircase so that was a really good idea we found some different ones here made it look really nice and um yeah we're gonna jump into the to the uh screenshot video thing here i'm not actually i'm never sure what to call this like the outro video um showcase video let's call it that so here we have the tower remember if you want to get the tangled tower it is on the gallery right now search my origin ID which is I'll be or search um, on the gallery website I'll be as well there's also a link in the description down below for the direct download link so yeah you can use that instead go check me out on Twitter um, where I post new videos teasers for new videos as well and overall information on upcoming streams things I'm doing, things I want your help with as well, and what is going to happen in 2019 as well. So go check me out on Twitter. As we take a look at the last screenshots here, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the continued support. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. Get the like word out, share it with your friends, share the 
word about this channel so we can grow it even bigger in this new year and uh, taking a look at the last screenshots I just want to say thank you so much for watching I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time for another video bye